Today uh, we are reading from Srimad Bhagavad Gita, third chapter, the importance of performing sacrifices. So Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Ishtan bhogan hi vo devan dasyante yajna bhavita tairdattan apradabhyo yobungte stena yavasaha. In charge of the various necessities of life, the demigods being satisfied by the performance of yajna, sacrifice will supply all necessities to you. But he who enjoys such gifts without offering them to the demigods, he is in return, he is certainly a thief. Istan bhogan hyo devan dasyante yajna bhavita tairdatan apradha abhyo yobungte stene vasaha. Krishna says in third chapter, in charge of the various necessities of life, the demigods being satisfied by the performance of yajna, um, uh, sacrifices will supply of necessities to you. But he who enjoys such gifts without offering them uh, to the demigods in return is certainly a thief. So, uh, our life actually should depend, subsist on performing uh, sacrifices because all of us have to do work in this world. Krishna says that netam kuru karmasya karma jayohi akarmanaha. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita third chapter that uh, <coughs> actually uh, all of us we have to work in this world you know. Otherwise, na prasiddhiyad akarmanaha, if you do not do work, uh, we will, how will we uh, maintain our body and the soul together. So, the lion cannot think that uh, if I am the jungle, you know, king of the jungle, so the goats and other animals will come and fall into my mouth. No, even the lion also has to work to get its food. In the same way, in our life, everybody has to work, do some work. Uh, to subsist in this world, uh, but uh, when we do work without getting connect connected to Krishna, uh, then we become entangled because Krishna says, "Yajnyartat karmano anyatra loko yam karma bandhana tadardam karma kaunteya mukta sanga samachara." Krishna says, "Yajnyartat karmano means one must perform work for the satisfaction of Vishnu." Yajna means. Uh, another name for Vishnu. So, uh, otherwise Anyatra, Anyatra means otherwise uh, Karma Bandhanaha means one must, one will become uh, entangled uh, in this world. So, one has to be very, very careful uh, not to do any work that is not connected to Krishna. You know, Karma Lokoyam Karma Bandhanaha Tadardam Karma Kaunteya Mukta Sangha Samachara. So, but when we do work for Krishna, then Mukta Sangha, we will become free from association of modes of nature and then we will become liberated. So, that is why Krishna is here, he is recommending performing uh, sacrifices and also for our daily necessities, we must perform uh, sacrifice just like Krishna says, Sahayajna Prajasustva Purovacha Prajapati Anena Prashvishyadham so, uh, uh, actually uh, in the beginning Krishna has sent forth sacrifices, prajapatis and demigods and he said you perform sacrifices and satisfy each other. So, the demigods, who are demigods? Actually the demigods are the controllers of material nature, prakriti. So, like Indra is controller of rains. Yamaraj is controller of death, Surya is controller of uh, sun rays, you know, moon is controller of giving uh, vegetables and other uh, uh, life. Like this all the demigods, uh, they are controller of various material elements and they supply necessities to our lives. Mm -hmm. So, mm, then they, how they supply just like uh, in our uh, uh, ordinary life also. Uh, when we want electricity, uh, electricity board supplies electricity, but if we do not uh, pay the bills, they will cut off the electricity, then we have to be in dark. 
darkness. In the same way, um, we have to pay taxes or we have to um, perform sacrifices to satisfy demigods. Uh, then they, they, then by offering our oblations, they get nourishment, and in return they supply all our necessities. So in this age of kali, the what is happening is uh, uh, actually we don't have any connection uh, with uh, performing sacrifices or satisfying demigods or satisfying Vishnu. Uh, they, we don't have any concept. Uh, so that is why slowly, slowly. There is a shortage of food, there is shortage of uh, <coughs> uh, water and a shortage of all other necessities because we are not trying to satisfy Lord Vishnu, we are not offering any uh, oblations to de the demigods. So that is why there is a uh, short supply. So that is why we all must perform uh, sacrifices and to satisfy uh, Lord Vishnu. Um, it is said that all of the human beings, we commit five kinds of uh, sinful activities without uh, compulsorily um, by especially all the grahasthas. That is, uh, while walking, we kill so many insects, while breathing, we kill so many living entities, while grinding, we kill so many living entities, while uh, <coughs> boiling water, we kill many living entities and then by uh, uh, by uh, breathing or and by uh, brooming and we kill uh, so many living entities. So, these are called uh, Panchasuna. Panchasuna means uh, five sinful activities that are performed by all uh, human beings in this world every day almost. So, in order to counteract the effect of these five sinful activities one must perform five uh, kinds of yajnas uh, every day and that is the uh, uh, swadhyaya uh, reading of uh, Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam and um, by offering oblation sacrifices, uh, uh, Agnihotra, you know, fire sacrifice, performing fire sacrifices uh, every day and then uh, by uh, treating the guests and uh, <coughs> by offering uh, Pitru Tarpana uh, oblations to the forefathers and by uh, making sure that all other living entities in our vicinity get food. These are called five Mahayajnas that is to be compulsorily performed by, by all the Grihasthas. So, nowadays uh, well, they do not know what is sacrifice, fire, performing fire sacrifice or uh, reading Vedic literature. Every day morning when they get up, first thing they do is to read newspaper and they perform another kind of fire sacrifice that is smoking cigarette every day. Uh, like this, uh, people are not at all interested and uh, that is why uh, people are uh, finding it uh, shortage of everything in our lives and too much, too many rains sometimes too much, uh, too, no rains sometimes and then too, too much flooding and then too hot, too cold. All these are uh, actually natural calamities are happening because uh, uh, the demigods are not satisfied with us. So, we are not because we are not offering any kind of sacrifices to satisfy them or to satisfy Lord Vishnu. So, ultimately any, any sacrifice that is performed um, is actually uh, in the end it is, it is done to satisfy Lord Vishnu only. So, uh, that is why it is a must that you know uh, we must perform sacrifice. Uh, many people, modern people, they criticize that why are you putting so many grains in the fire and wasting them. And then I asked one of the persons that uh, why are you putting? Uh, suppose when you are making uh, in, in steel, if you go to a steel plant, they, you know they also put so much iron uh, into the fire. Uh, but actually, what happens? Uh, the fire, you know, by, because of putting that iron ore into the fire, that becomes purified, and uh, we can make it into a steel. So it, it comes out as a better product. In the same way, when we put ghee, grains, and all other ingredients uh, into the fire, uh, the fire god accepts uh, that offering, and in return, uh, 
uh, they we get back better grains, better water, better everything. So that is why in Vedic times people are living very peacefully and happily without shortage of uh, any of these things that we face uh, today. But actually in this age of Kali, we, do, we cannot actually perform all these elaborate uh, fire sacrifices etc. because we do not have qualified uh, Brahmanas. Uh, another criticism uh, that they make is that previously during fire sacrifices and all, uh, they would do, uh, do animal sacrifice, they would cut animals head and uh, you know, offer it. But actually previously the Brahmanas, the, the performance of Yajna, they were so qualified that uh, when they would chant mantras, uh, actually uh, that uh, 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 the demigods personally used to come and accept uh, offerings. So, um, previously uh, uh, the people, general people, common people also uh, used to have uh, darshan, direct vision of uh, all these demigods, Indra, Chandra, Varuna and all other demigods. But uh, at, on the onset of Kali Yuga, uh, because uh, there are no proper qualified Brahmanas to perform fire sacrifices, uh, so they, uh, we do not get to see them anymore. So, actually that is why uh, we do not uh, uh, get to see them uh, and also uh, previously every time somebody wanted something uh, of to fulfill their desires, they would perform a particular sacrifice. Like we learn from uh, Ramayan that how uh, Dasharad Maharaj, uh, even though he had three wives, principal wives and so many other wives also, but still uh, he did not have a son. Then uh, Vasishta Muni advised that perform Ashwamedha Yajna. Then who will perform uh, this particular uh, uh, Yajna of fire sacrifice uh, to attract, uh, to have sons uh, for Dasharad Maharaj. Then they had to search around and they found out that Rishyashringa Muni is the most qualified uh, Brahmana to perform this sacrifice. So, Rishyashringa Muni is so such a great sage that simply by remembering his name, uh, the Prakriti becomes very pleased and gives the proper rains and proper heat and all other uh, desires get fulfilled simply by remembering the name of Rishashringamuni. Then Rishashringamuni came and uh, performed a, a sacrifice called Putra Kameshti. Putra Kameshti means the desire to have sons. Then the Shrad Maharaj performed that Putra Kameshti. Then as all of you know, uh, we got uh, the Shrad Maharaj got four sons, Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, Shatrigna. So, they all um, that is uh, ha that it was possible uh, because uh, you know they, they could perform a sacrifice uh, properly and they had a qualified Brahmana. And also we have uh, uh, another history where uh, Drupad Maharaj had a running fight with uh, Sri Dronacharya and Dronacharya after giving education to the Pandavas and the Kauravas, when they asked uh, Dronacharya that uh, what Guru Dakshina you want, uh, then uh, Guru, uh, Sri Guru, Guru Dron asked them that you know you bring, you arrest Drupad Maharaj who is the ruler of the Panchal Desh and bring him as a Kaidi, um, as a bond. Then uh, Arjuna, Bhimsen and uh, other Pandavas, they went, they fought with uh, Drupad Maharaj uh, and they arrested him and brought him. Because uh, in uh, Drupad Maharaj's youthful days when they were studying in uh, Gurukul, Drupad Maharaj promised that whatever he has, he will give off of it to Dronacharya. Because he did not fulfill that promise when Dronacharya went to ask for something. So, Dronacharya became upset and then he said, okay, I will get it by force. So, he took away of the kingdom uh, Dronacharya and off of the kingdom, he gave it to back to Dr uh, Drupad Maharaj. But Drupad Maharaj being a Kshatriya, he could not uh, tolerate the insult. Then, then he thought, I will produce a son who can kill Dronacharya. So, he went around, went around searching for Brahmanas, he wanted to give 80,000 
gold coins and so many thousands of cows in charity. But at that time, Dronacharya, he is a very great uh, the, um, uh, teacher in archery and then he was very famous all over uh, the world. So, when they would hear that uh, they have to create a son uh, to kill Dronacharya, they would uh, run away, they would refuse. Even though Drupad Maharaj was offering a big amount uh, as Dakshina. Then he went around and finally, he found two Brahmanas, Yaju and uh, Upayaju and they performed a very great sacrifice and then from that sacrifice, uh, two children were born. One is uh, Drishtadyumna, uh, he was also born with uh, Sahaj Kavach Kundal and other armory and uh, on his body and uh, another is daughter, uh, her name is uh, Draupadi, uh, you know, very famous uh, in Mahabharat. Uh, that is why another name for Draupadi is Yajna Seni. Um, she was, when she came out of the uh, sacrifice, she was so beautiful, so beautiful that the whole world became struck um, by hearing about her beauty. Then Rupad Maharaj thought, uh, I will give my daughter only to Arjuna because he is the only proper groom for her. So, uh, like this so many, there are so many instances uh, from Mahabharat, Ramayan, Srimad Bhagavatam, how uh, people whenever they would want, they wanted something, they performed great sacrifices and uh, uh, then they got their uh, desires fulfilled. Sometimes uh, um, <coughs> Maharaj Nimi, he performed a great sacrifice. Then uh, all the Brahmanas, uh, they were all very qualified. Then uh, they wanted a son like a like Lord Vishnu. Then Lord Vishnu appeared. Then he said, "There is nobody like me, no one else like me. So I will become your son." Then he became uh, son of uh, son. Then uh, that um, uh, his uh, his name is uh, Lord Rishabh Dev. So like this, there are so many instances where um, you know that's by performing sacrifices, uh, people got uh, their desires fulfilled. But in this age of Kali, there is uh, there are no proper Brahmanas um, available who can chant mantras. Because uh, in performing the fire sacrifices, the most in, as important aspect of that performing sacrifice is proper pronunciation of Vedic mantras. Even if there is a small mistake also, then they will be uh, <coughs> Uh, not, they will not be proper result and some sometimes there is a danger also. Just like we have seen that uh, there is one great sage uh, Tvastamuni, uh, he has one son uh, Vishwarup. So, when uh, Brahaspati left the company of the Devdas, Devdas came and requested Vishwarup to be their spiritual master. But actually Vishwarup's mother, uh, she is from demoniac family. So, he, he had some uh, partiality towards uh, some affection for demons also. So, this Vishwarup, he had four heads and then what he was doing uh, while actually offering oblations, uh, with one head he was offering some oblations, fire sacrifices to uh, the demons also. When um, Indra came to know, he cut off the head of his own spiritual master Vishwarup and seeing this, Vastamani became very, very angry then he wanted to produce a son who can kill Indra. Then he performed great, great sacrifices. But they have done a small mistake. Uh, while chanting the mantras, instead of chanting uh, Indra Shatru, Indra Shatru means uh, a son, a son will be born uh, who is the enemy of Indra. Uh, that means who will kill Indra. That is the that, that should be the meaning, Indra Shatru. But instead of that, the Brahmanas, they chanted Dirgha, Indra Shatru. So, the Sanskrit language is so uh, great that simply by this one mistake of you know chanting that mantra Dirgha, uh, Indra Shatru, the meaning became reverse. That means, a son will be born who will be killed by Indra. So, like this, uh, it, uh, th that is why all these um, Brahmanas and all, they were well trained. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, and their jatasmaras, that means all these complicated Vedic mantras, they would remember by heart because that time there were no written books. 
and then they would go to the spiritual master and uh, simply remember all those mantras by practicing and uh, those who remember very nicely they were given the highest post in performing uh, sacrifices but nowadays neither brahmanas are pure they they cannot chant mantras properly nor ingredients are pure uh, nor the circumstances just like uh, deshkal patra like uh, the place is pure so because of this even though many people they perform fire sacrifices nowadays in kaliyuga uh, there is no like in maharashtra there is a drought and all many people they performed uh, uh, this kind of fire sacrifices but nothing would come out of it because uh, you know pro- improper chanting of the mantras and impurity of the subst- you know ingredients and all that so then what is the solution in this age of kali so that is why lord krishna came in the form of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and he gave a very very simple uh, yajna which can be performed by everybody without any discrimination caste creed and any other discrimination you know, krishna that is what is said in bhagavatam that krishna varnam tvisha krishnam sango pangastra parshadam yajnai sankirtana prayai yajanti hi su me dasaha you know here yeah, very important because in the previous ages only brahmanas only brahmanas they are allowed to perform sacrifices um and actually in the yajna pandap near like it is in mahabharat it is given that during the performance of rajasuya sacrifice uh, unqualified brahmanas vaishyas sudras and dogs they are not at all allowed near to the yajna pandap they were so strict but um, uh, in this age of kali we don't find any brahmanas or kshatriyas and uh, kala sudra sambhavah only sudras are available so uh, in order to make us um, perform sacrifice in this age of kali very easily uh, without much effort uh, difficulty without spending too much money uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he recommended this sacrifice that is why it is said su medha saha medha saha means medha means intelligent su medha means very very intelligent so in this age of kali very very intelligent people you know what do they do yajnai sankirtana prayai yajantihi sumedha saha krishna varnam tvisha krishnam sango pangastra parshadam so uh, this uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, is always chanting hari krishna mahamantra in the same way by simply chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari in the uh, group uh, when when we, when a group of people uh, chant it is called sankirtana when a single person individual person chants for his own self that is called japa and when group of people use by using kartal mridanga and other musical instruments when they chant hari krishna mahamantra very loudly that is called sankirtana yajna so for the uh, age of people in this uh, kaliyuga um hey, actually this sacrifice is recommended you know chanting the holy names of krishna very loudly when shri prabhupad his divine grace ac bhaktwen swami shri prabhupad went to america at the age of 70 70 he had only uh, 40 rupees and he didn't have any uh, uh, followers or anything but he started this hari krishna movement simply by chanting hari krishna mahamantra in the tompinskan square park where so many hippies and all they got attracted to this chanting of hari krishna mantra uh, um, and then um, all every monday wednesday and friday prabhupad would hold classes and then the, he would have sankirtana and then all these american boys and girls they would come and join the sankirtana and they were uh, so very very successful uh, because everybody was surprised because how Uh, swami ji at the age of 70 went to america without uh, so much facilities and just with uh, 40 rupees how he could achieve so much success because uh, uh, because of this sankirtan yajna uh, by performing this sankirtan yajna so it is said that all the, in this age of kali all those who perform sankirtan yajna they will be free from all kinds of miseries in life and all their necessities Uh, will be fulfilled very easily shila prabhupad told one very interesting 
uh, story uh, of his life of his life uh, in 1940s around when the world war 2 erupted gandhi ji said indians will not fight uh, on uh, with the uh, british army uh, because uh, why we should fight we don't we are not enemies but what winston churchill did was actually they created artificial famine in india what means what they did whatever food grains uh, were uh, produced in india they sunk them they threw them in the ocean and there was a severe shortage of food uh, in india at that time it's called artificial famine drought then what happened then they said britishers said uh, you join the india our army british army and fight for us then those who fight for us will give them food and then thousands and thousands lakhs of people around 10 million indians hmm, have died because of starvation in 1940s during world war 2 um, these historians they have hidden it away and then this winston churchill is no better than um, hitler because he killed so many of the indians and uh, they don't mention it so much in the history books but it is a fact then but shri prabhupa said uh, all of us who are devotees of hari krishna mahama who uh, lord krishna we didn't f- uh, find any shortage in our lives because prabhupa said i i checked i i, I myself did not experience any shortage because i am chanting hari krishna uh, enough food was supplied to me by the mercy of the lord and all my friends i contacted they also told oh we didn't have so much problem maybe we didn't get paneer sabji but we are getting at least khichdi and then we didn't starve so this is a proof prabhupa said that those who chant hari krishna maha mantra and those who perform this uh, sacrifice of chanting the holy names of krishna congregationally loudly they will not have any shortage in their lives and at the, uh, their lives will be successful hari krishna